That's right. So with the summer coming up, sure enough, we'll finally get some heat waves passing the state. Now it's been a while and we'll all be out at that fair coming up, the fair parade on Saturday with KX News, feeling some warmer temperatures. If we look to the south, there are now some 80s, but also hundreds much further away from us. So I know a lot of people here tend to go to Arizona for the winter time, and that's one of the places right now with the heat advisories where we're seeing that is this kind of a, a peach pale orange color. So plenty of areas outside of North Dakota are having some excessive heat warnings. Now we're going to break down first the feels like feels like temperatures come from a heat index plus a wind chill. Heat index uh, is a whole nother thing we'll cover in just a moment, but having these things put together can tell us what it's feeling like outside. Now we're not going to get too warm, but we saw a little rise at the end of that going Thursday into the weekend with the heat warnings that can come out. We clearly don't have any now. We're in that low to slight level all the way through today for Bismarck. That's humidity and temperature. So humidity plus the temperature and some other functions in there is what drives these heat warnings. Back in Arizona for Phoenix, they are practically off the charts from what was created here. So they are having extreme heat warnings as those uh, warnings are out there. It's also nice to know they're not all created equally. In fact, if we're looking up toward North Dakota, we need temperatures 100 degrees in order to get those warnings initially with the heat index, whereas it's got to be about 110 for some areas closer to Florida. So fast forward to Saturday, some of us are going to be feeling in the 90s with that breeze, but afterwards temperatures are on the rise more and more. So sure enough, you'll be hearing more about these heat indexes and the feels like temperatures. Thanks so much.